This is the QFM W15. They call it a boom box, but there's no handle, so I consider it more of a desktop device. It has a top loading CD player, an FM radio, and will also serve as a Bluetooth speaker. You can play WMA and MP3 through USB or TF cards. The controls are simple, and I'm sure you are already familiar with them. However, since this is technically a Bluetooth speaker, I will give credit where credit is due and praise them for having a dedicated volume knob. Well, almost dedicated. It also serves as a power switch. I'd also like to point out a feature that is rare in a Bluetooth speaker, and that is the coveted random feature. This is a repeat button, and one of the repeat modes is random. It works for CD and also TF and USB sticks. All the access ports are located on the back, and that includes your USB slot, your TF card slot, your USB-C charging port, and sadly, the headphone jack. I don't think a headphone jack ever belongs on back. I'm sure it looked great on paper, but in practice, I want the headphone jack on the front of the device. This has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, which they claim will give you five hours of playback. I'm not sure that's much to brag about, and I don't know why you would carry this around anyway, but if you wanted to, that's what you can expect, maybe under best conditions. I don't know. I didn't really test that feature because it seemed pointless to me. My 17-year-old daughter tells me that nobody listens to the radio anymore. Well, I do, and this is a pretty decent FM radio tuner. Now, the controls are somewhat unintuitive and disappointing in one significant aspect, and that is in terms of radio presets. As far as I can tell, the only way to set presets is to use the scan function, and it will automatically assign presets to every station it finds in the spectrum. Up to the 30th station. Now, if your favorite radio station is beyond the 30th station, you're out of luck. You cannot set a preset yourself. You cannot remove any presets that it finds for you. So you just have to take what you get. Another thing that I would consider more of an inconvenience than a problem, and that is you have to move the antenna out of the way in order to get a TF card into the slot. Is that a big deal? Probably not, but I thought I'd point it out. Another thing that I would consider more of an annoyance than a problem, and that is the mode button. The mode button allows you to cycle through CD, FM radio, Bluetooth, USB, and TF, but there's no way to go directly to the feature that you want. Furthermore, if you power the unit down and then bring the power back up, it will always default to the CD player not to the function that you used last. I think that would have been a better choice, but like I said, more of an annoyance than a problem. Oh, and another thing, for the USB and the TF card slot, they say 32 gig max. And at first I thought, yeah, right, they always say that. But no, I think it's true. I tried putting a 128 gig card in the TF card slot and it sat and sat and sat and never indexed the thing. I put a smaller card in the USB stick and it worked fine. However, I just wanted to restate that it only supports WMA and MP3. No fancy formats here. So how does the W15 sound? Not good. This sounds best at low volume levels. The lower the better and even then only mid-range sounds decent. The treble distorts at any volume level and despite claims of having a bass reflex port, there's no bass at all in this thing. I just don't think that whatever speakers are in here are capable of producing it. I think the best way to use the W15 is to drive your headphones. And if you do that, everything sounds great. I found the volumes to be very loud at maximum level. However, I know that some of you maniacs out there really want to pound your ears, and this is not going to deliver concert level volumes. You might be asking yourself, why would I use Bluetooth on a device with bad speakers? And you're right, you wouldn't, you shouldn't. And I don't recommend that function. I don't know why it's here. How do I rate the QFM W15? As a desktop headphone driver, I'd give it a three out of five stars. I think the radio preset issue is significant. I don't like that it forgets the last mode you're on when you power down. And the 32 gigabyte limitation in 2024 is unreasonable. 
However, as a desktop speaker, I'd give it a one out of five stars. I've got nothing good to say about it. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, one more thing. My 100th YouTube video is coming out soon and I thought I'd have a giveaway. Now, I'm not exactly sure what I'll be giving away. It won't be this, unless you really want it, then let me know. But I was thinking about one of the five out of five items I reviewed over the past 100 episodes. I think that'd be cool. So this will be a subscriber only event. So be sure to get those subscriptions in. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I announce it. And let's have some fun. Thanks for stopping by.